God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the birds and the animals, the flowers and the trees, the lakes and the streams, and the sun that rises and sets over them each day. Thank you for creating everything we see. Thank you for the life we live, and for making each person different. Thank you for Jesus, who died for us so that we can go to heaven one day just for believing in him. What an amazing God you are. In Jesus' name, Amen. I can say, I've walked with Jesus for enough yesterdays to trust him with all my tomorrows. God often does more spiritually in the valley than he does on the mountaintop. God does not weigh your words, he weighs your heart. Now here's our Bible study, victim or victor, it's your choice. Prayer, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. God invites the thirsty to come drink, and those with no money to buy and eat without money or price. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Today, you have a glorious opportunity to find favor and blessings from God. Tomorrow may be too late, no one is guaranteed another heartbeat. Isaiah 55, 7, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Principles, the divorce between God and Israel. Moses taught that a man who put away his wife should give her a bill of divorcement to set her free. God insisted that Israel show him the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away. He wanted them to understand that for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery I had put her away, and given her a bill of divorce. Jeremiah 3, 8. Nevertheless, God plans to reconcile with Israel as soon as they will. He considers himself still married to the backslider. Isaiah 50, 1. For your transgressions is your mother put away. Principles, sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Despite all the trials and tribulations Israel ever suffered pertaining to Jerusalem and Zion, God promised to comfort and restore them. The wilderness will become like Eden, the desert like a garden. Law and judgment will proceed from there. Heaven and earth will fade, but his righteousness will endure through every generation. Everyone who faithfully follows his word has that same hope. Isaiah 51, 11, Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head, they shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Prophecies, I gave my back to the smiters, Israel sold themselves to iniquity. God put them away for their transgressions, but reminded them that he can dry up the sea, or blacken the heavens, and can still redeem and deliver Israel from sin. God gave Isaiah the tongue of the learned, to speak to them, who is among you that fear of the Lord, trust in the name of the Lord, Isaiah's suffering as an intercessor prophetically typified Christ's, Isaiah 50, 6, I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair, I hid not my face from shame and spitting. God, thank you for my friend. You tell us that it is not good to be alone, God, and bless us with family and friends all around us. Thank you for giving us people to talk to and laugh with. I pray for my friend today, that they have a good day and a blessed life. They are a blessing to me, God, when I need them the most, just like Jesus is to me. Help me to be kind like Jesus to be a good friend to others and spread his love in this Bible study, in Jesus' name, Amen.